Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you is how to import your Daz characters into iClone so they can be used with the uh, real-time facial and body animation tools. I'm going to show you the quickest way possible to do that. So to start off, I'm in Daz here. I'm going to create my own uh, Genesis character really quickly. So we'll just in our content library, go to people and uh, Genesis. And we'll uh, uh, load in a Genesis character there. Let's give it some more personality, maybe some skin, for example. We'll uh, use this uh, Jeremy skin here. And you can see now my uh, my Genesis model has some nice uh, nice back freckles as well as a nice skin texture. And since we don't want him to be walking around naked the whole time, let's give him some clothing as well. How about some uh, some surf shorts? We'll do. All right, so there's our model, just uh, nice and simple. Maybe we can give him a bit more a uh, bit more bulk in the in the body there. We'll give him some maybe a bodybuilder shape here. We don't be, we don't want him to be uh, too buff. We'll just uh, give him a, a nice athletic shape there. All right, so that's all we're gonna do, we're gonna do in uh, in Daz here for making my character. Just keep it really simple. All right, so now what I want to do here is if I want this uh, if I want this Daz model to be able to uh, use facial animation tools in iClone, what I need to do is I need to uh, create a facial profile. Now we actually have a DUF file, a facial key uh, DUF file that's included with our facial pipeline character pack, uh, the Daz extension part of our facial pipeline character pack. And what I can do. I can go to my desktop where I have that saved on the desktop here. You can see it'll look something like this, iclonefacekey.duf. What I can do is I can actually just drag that into my Daz character. I just apply it to my character's head. It'll ask me if I want to add some frames. I want to select yes. And you'll see all of a sudden in the timeline here on the bottom, there'll be a number of frames that appear. If we focus on the head here, you can see that each frame corresponds to a different uh, facial expression. So, uh, you know, eyebrows up, nose scrunch, uh, lips in different shapes and eyes closing, and there's also some uh, Visemi shapes uh, for the lip syncing feature in iClone. So if you have this file, basically you can just drag it into your uh, your Daz character in Daz, and all of your uh, facial keys will be set up. And they're, they're uh, listed according to this uh, reference list here. So we have this uh, face key sequence uh, for iClone avatars here, and you can see that each keyframe corresponds to a different, uh, different expression here. And that'll be utilized by the uh, Motion Puppet tool in iClone. So let's go back into Daz here for now. All I want to do now is just export my Daz character. Uh, so we can uh, bring it into iPhone via 3D Exchange. So I'm going to go up to uh, File and Export. And we're going to save this guy to the desktop. Let's call him uh, Beach Dude. Beach Dude .fbx. There we go. And now you want to pay attention to the uh, FBX export options here. Um, you want to make sure that you have uh, animations and morph morphs both selected. And in the Edit Morph Export rules, you want to make sure you have this uh, bake action set here and go Accept. And we'll accept again. And that'll basically export my Daz character into FBX format. So the next step is we're going to take this guy into 3D Exchange. And we're going to go into the uh, Expression Editor. And you'll see in 3D Exchange that all these different uh, blend shapes uh, for the facial expressions have been exported uh, along with the FBX file. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually go into 3D Exchange and you can actually, after this procedure is finished, you can import it directly to iClone, and it'll be a fully functional uh, character, complete with uh, bot, uh, compatibility with the uh, body and facial motion tools, including lip sync and, uh, and facial puppet and all that stuff as well. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is once this is finished uh, exporting, we'll uh, drag the FBX file directly into uh, 3D Exchange. So we'll go to my desktop here, so you can see we have our beachdude.fbx. So let's drag this directly into 3D Exchange here. There we go, 3D Exchange, where's 3D Exchange? There we go, all right. And uh, once this model imports into 3D Exchange, you wanna make sure that you select Import Animation um, because that'll import the uh, the blend shapes into the morph list there. And so once this uh, guy is finished importing here, you'll see it'll come up with a dialog box. It's noticing that uh, 3D Exchange has detected it's a Daz Genesis character and it wants to auto auto map and auto do everything for you. So unless you want to uh, map your bones and unless you want to do all the uh, facial conversion and all that stuff yourself, you can just select yes here. And that'll save you probably a, half, a good half hour of time. All right, and it'll just say uh, you can immediately apply it to iClone to be the updated result. Select OK. And here's my model in 3D Exchange. And like I mentioned, we can go directly to uh, apply it to iClone, and that'll apply it to iClone. But what I want to show you first is the expression editor. 
Okay, so we'll just uh, move our character a little bit closer here, open up the expression editor. And you can see that uh, there's a number of different uh, tabs here. The head tab, it's already been set up. Um, there's leftward, rightward. Your character has pretty much all been, uh, been taken, all the uh, mapping and all the expressions have already been taken care of, like I mentioned. You can just import it directly to iClone thanks to that uh, DUF file. All right, and the vice and me shapes have already been taken care of as well. If you want, you can comp you can uh, modify these further. For example, I have this woo shape. I wanted to maybe uh, add a little bit uh, a little bit more lip shape to my uh, woo. You know, I can do something like that. Um, adjust the uh, lips pucker wide uh, blend shape there. We won't do that in this tutorial though, but uh, just so you know, you can do it. Um, also, there's uh, the muscle tab as well. Um, all the uh, all the uh, facial muscles. Have already been taken care of for you, and again, you can adjust the uh, different, uh, the various blend shapes on the right here uh, to adjust those further. All right, and uh, in the custom tab, these are custom uh, profiles that you can use in the body motion tool, or sorry, the uh, facial motion puppet tool in iClone. Um, so you can see there's uh, six different uh, profiles that you can use. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a custom one uh, really quickly here. Now each one of these thumbnails corresponds to a different mouse movement in the uh, real-time facial puppet tool. So for example, if I select the upward thumbnail, I want to put this uh, auto-apply key uh, down so it'll auto-apply that uh, expression when I'm finished. And I can just select maybe uh, any expression I want here. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit more on the face so we can get a better, uh, better glimpse of uh, the model's face here. Um, so you can see, uh, let's do something like a uh, Give him a frown. You will have an angry. Ah, let's, let's make this upward, upward motion something a little bit more uh, thoughtful. So we'll use the eyebrows. And you can just go ahead and fool around with all these uh, sliders yourself on your own time. Um, you can maybe uh, the eyelids, the bottom eyelids, uh, lift those up a little bit. Maybe adjust the lifts as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to fast forward through all this really quickly for you guys so you don't have to watch me creating my own uh, different uh, profiles here. All right, so you can see I have, I've completed all my different uh, facial puppet profiles here. We have the uh, skeptical kind of look, we have the smiley look, we have the uh, angry look, and we have the uh, maybe seductive look. I don't know, you can call it what you want. But anyways, that's our first profile finished off there. So I'll just uh, X out of here. Now what I want to do is uh, actually apply this directly to iClone. So we'll go ahead and apply to iClone. And that'll load my model directly into iClone here. And so we'll just press the uh, J hotkey to focus on the face. And we're going to go through the uh, facial animation tools here. I'm going to show you the uh, capabilities here. So in the facial animation section here, I can go to... Uh, uh, basically, this, this character has already been set up with uh, Vice Me shapes for uh, lip sync. So I can actually go and open a, uh, any, any track that I like here. I can just... Uh, this one, for example. Ha! Ah! So what? You can't touch me! Because I'm from the internet! All right, there you can see the uh, lip syncing in action there. And uh, if I want, I can also use the uh, facial puppet tool. If I want to uh, increase the uh, Vicemi strength, for example, on, on that uh, lip sync, um, I can increase that um, something like uh, 200%. Ha! You'll see it'll, so be a, it'll be a lot more expressive. Let me use it a little bit too much, but uh, you can go ahead and uh, adjust that uh, to your own preference, depending on the, uh, depending on the track or the uh, text-to-speech that you put in. Um, okay, and we're going to go into the Facial Puppet tool next. So I'm going to show you, um, basically, this character, like I mentioned, is compatible with all of iClone's uh, Facial uh, Puppet tools now. So, for example, I can use any one of the default profiles, like this one from Chuck. Uh, maybe like an angry one. You can see there's an angry uh, Facial Puppet um, profile. We can even use uh, ones like this, like this attractive one. This uh, you can see he looks uh, very, very cool, very attractive. Or even more cartoony ones like uh, like Jimmy Toon, for example. This uh, this one here. You can see a very calm, uh, happy expression. Maybe this one's a bit more expressive. You can see it's a bit more uh, cartoony, uh, less realistic. 
let's go to my custom profile that I created here. Um, in addition to this, I wanted to mention first, if you press this erase key, you can you can puppet to each individual part. So for the example, the nose, I can do the nose scrunch by itself. I can do the nose and the eye. You know, you can just uh, have the one individual eye moving around. I really wouldn't want to do that, but uh, just to show you for example, I'm going to go to my 3DX custom profile now. You, you can see uh, number one, I'll select uh, number one, which is the profile that I uh, customized in 3D Exchange. We'll preview that. And you can see now with, with the uh, up movement, there's my uh, kind of skeptical look. With the down movement, there's my angry look. And to the right, there's my smiley look. And the left, there's my uh, seductive look. You can also turn off this uh, auto rotate, and you can see the result there. The head tilting is still on, but uh, you can see there's a different expression that I created. You can also turn the head tilting off. There we go. So you can create all those expressions yourself in just a couple of minutes. And you can also notice that uh, when I uh, preview and I go down, notice that my eyes are actually closing, whereas in the original uh, in the original profile they weren't closing. So what I can do is if I want to go into the Edit Properties uh, panel here, you can see the eye blink is set at 100. Now here if I press the uh, F2 key, you can see it, it opens up some advanced options here. And what I want to adjust is I want to adjust the, uh, the eyelids. So um, you can see here, down if I go down a little bit, there's eye blink left, eye blink, eye blink right. And in the negative y-axis, so when I move the mouse down, I want to adjust those values a little bit. I want to make them a little bit weaker. So I want to select uh, maybe something like negative 60 and negative 60 on eye blink right. Let's press enter. And there you go. And I'm going to close out this uh, window and preview one more time. And you can see now when I go down, the eyes don't close as much as, uh, as, much as I did before. So I can kind of still keep them open. All right, and no, none of the other profiles will be affected. This is only for the Y, for the y down movement. All right, so that's how you adjust your, uh, your facial puppet profiles within iClone. So we'll go ahead and record a little uh, video here. Ha! So what? You can't touch me, because I'm from the internet. All right, so there's my, uh, there's my uh, puppet profile recording that I just did in a couple minutes. Ha! So what? You can't touch me. Because I'm from the internet. All right, and there you go. That's how easy it is to take uh, iClone characters, or sorry, rather Daz characters into iClone and customize them and utilize the uh, facial puppet tools and uh, body puppet tools as well. Okay, and again, besides the uh, facial puppet, I can also use the, uh, the body puppet as well. So, uh, for example, if I zoom out a little bit, let's go into uh, facial uh, puppet here, motion puppet. I can create a profile like this uh, dance. Ha! So what? You can't touch me, because I'm from the internet. <laughs> you can see this guy's uh, very confident in himself dancing around, and you can lower the exaggeration a little bit. Preview that. Ha! So what? You can't touch me, because I'm from the internet. All right, so you can see how fun it is to uh, create these uh, custom motion uh, profiles, or custom facial motion profiles uh, in 3D Exchange, bring them into iClone, and uh, quickly create your own animations with your own... Uh, your own custom Daz characters. So be sure to check out our other tutorial on uh, adjusting and customizing the uh, facial profiles as well, which I'll use the same character as we do here. So uh, go ahead and enjoy uh, customizing your own character.